This is the beautiful medieval graveyard at Affadown, on the banks of the River Island, west of Skibbereen Town in West Cork. There are centuries of burials here in Affadown, generations of local people, including soldiers who fought in battle, an heroic famine doctor, and the man who saved Skibbereen. My name is Terry and I'm from Skibbereen Heritage Centre and I'm here with local historian William Casey to bring you on a short tour of this very interesting site. The tomb of the Beecher family is in the quiet northwest corner of this graveyard. This is the tomb of Colonel Thomas Beecher who was the major landlord in this area and when he died he had 30,000 acres of land it is said that you could walk from Skibreen to Crookhaven and never leave the Beecher land. In 1690, Colonel Thomas Beecher was aide-de-camp to King William of Orange at the Battle of the Boyne. And after the battle, the King came up to Colonel Thomas Beecher, as he was at the time, and said, Colonel, what time is it? He said, for to your majesty, I don't have a watch. So afterwards, King William presented Colonel Thomas Beecher with a watch, which is still in the Beecher family. It's in London now with the Beecher family. So a connection from half a down to one of the major battles of Irish and probably and European history. a few feet away from Colonel Beecher is the grave of Pat McCarthy mm. and Pat was a member of the 3rd Cork Brigade of the old IRA during the War of Independence and he was at the Battle of Kilmichael. Private Patrick McCarthy was shot during the Irish Civil War in 1922. He was on duty here in Skibbereen overlooking the old RIC barracks when he lit a cigarette the light alerted the enemy to his presence and he was shot and later died, aged just 22. So within a few feet of each other, somebody who fought at Kilmichael and somebody who fought at the Battle of the Boyne. A hero from another era, Dr. Stephen Sweetnam, is also buried here. Dr. Sweetnam was the dispensary doctor in Skull during Ireland's Great Famine and, like many others, risked his life daily to help the people of this locality during that terrible time. There are many other major landowning and merchant families buried here in Affadown, including John Francis Levis of Skibbereen. John Francis's family were major property owners in Skibbereen, and Levis's key in the town is named in their honour. John F. Levis is credited with saving Skibbereen from being renamed as Island Moor after the famine. His funeral cortege was said to have been a mile long coming out here to Affadown. Such was his popularity. The first written account of this site dates from 1199, but nothing remains of the earliest church, which was located in the upper older area of the graveyard. The existing ruin is of St Matthew's Church, built in 1812 by Jack Long of Affadown, for his father-in-law, Reverend Joseph Wright. Both men are buried in Affadown graveyard. This Protestant church was only in use for 60 years, but the site contains graves from the Roman Catholic Church of Ireland and Methodist communities. 
The earlier burials in Affadown are marked by simple, uninscribed stones. So the first inscribed headstone is from 1703. Local folklore says that some unbaptized babies are buried on the riverside of this graveyard. Generations of local people are buried here, including the ancestors of local historian William Casey. His Casey side from Big Marsh and his McCarthy ancestors from Polnicoli. This is a beautiful location to visit in person, but you can also visit it virtually using the survey carried out by William some years ago, which is available on our website. But meanwhile, here's just a selection of some of the monuments and their inscriptions in Affadown Graveyard. <laughs> 